Would y'all date down or no? Mm. They date down. And why? Question. So, would you date below your income, Myron Gaines? <laughs> is that is that the question specifically uh, from socioeconomically? Absolutely. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if the whole. I gotta make sure I clarify listen, the goddamn question. She could work. Because she she could mean height. She could work at Wendy's. As far as money, like yeah, she makes course. less than McDonald's. You. Of course, well, fuck men don't care about women's CBS. money. CVS. That's not for everybody though. That's not. That's a general statement. Okay, um, we got some higher earners in the building. Uh, okay. Fresh, do you give a fuck about how much money your girl makes? <laughs> of course. Not <laughs> Ben. Do you give a fuck about how much money your girl makes? My girl, or well, the woman that you deal with sexually, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I care about how much she make. I mean, not how much she make, but I care about like her having money versus being a broke ass girl that can't get her own Uber. Like yeah. I'm, I'm at the yeah, airport. Yeah. Can you get me an Uber? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking? If you bring you, you ain't got twenty two dollars to get your ass from the airport. To, like I'll give you the money. And no, I don't have the app. You got the app, bitch. So yeah. I'm saying, okay, so so you have an issue with it when it inconveniences you. But my point is that. If she has money yeah. or not, are you gonna I, still fuck with her? I don't give a fuck. If she got two hundred dollars in her bank. Okay, like yeah, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. If she you, owns... you have an issue with it when her poverty starts to impede on your life. Yeah, right. just All super right. poverty is different than like <laughs> poverty. super poverty, poverty is like poverty. overbearing, bro. Like you got a gun on with that. Yeah, okay, fair enough, fair enough. So it, that, it's not gonna disqualify her. It's just ever. that it's gonna annoy you. Okay, it, ever. Chris, what about you? Do you give a fuck about how much money a girl make? Uh, not really, man. Just be compliant and just be there, man. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I- I'll pay for everything. I'll take you out. Like, like, why? Why should I care about your money? Because your money is your money. You know Yo, saying? detox. Do you care about how much money a girl makes? Absolutely. You do? Yeah. Oh shit, we got an anomaly in the house. Mm-hmm. Well, why? Why do you care? Tell the people. You need to be on my same level. Oh, you need a girl that makes as much money as you? <laughs> Absolutely. So okay. let's say I'm a doctor, right? Uh huh. I'm not trying to date a female who works at Wendy's. Oh, okay. How old are you? Wait, How? even if she bad? Come on. Yo, you cap now, man. Hey, hey, even if she bad? Damn. Come on, bro. How old are you? I just want to know. I'm up there. I'm OG. Yeah, see, them the older niggas don't be caring. They're like, bitch, I knew you had some money. You come around <laughs> with that broke ass shit. Yeah. I bro, you know, but Detox, you've definitely dated some chicks that are bad that are broke. Come on, man. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> man, man, that's nigga, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, this, I'm the cap, nigga. This, yeah, this, yo, <laughs> yo, he be detoxing them. Hey, that's great, though. <laughs> yo, he ta- yo, he's still running game right now. Yeah, yeah, let's turn it off for a second. That, he's like, yo, it's yo, a bitch watching. Yo. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like your career, girl. <laughs> I like girl, girl. But, like, uh, so there you go. Uh, a lot of guys, deep down, it's it's not going to disqualify a woman like it would for a man. Versus yeah, a guy that's broke, it's going to disqualify him. And some guys will say that, that that's an issue in terms of like, okay, you know what? I want to go with money, but let's be real here. They saying that because she has money and he may want to get laid. So you tell her what she wants to hear. Yeah. Yeah. I'm keeping that book. Yeah. At the end of so the day, does, niggas don't care. So yeah. It's, it's not, it, I think the biggest takeaway is that it's not going to disqualify you from meeting higher caliber men. Yeah. Your income status is not going to disqualify you. Okay. So being a guy who makes a large sum of money, yeah. if you're with a girl and you're, dating down Mm -hmm. and obviously you know it's your girl your female you're taking her out you're doing these things that you that you want to do whatever so do you put restraints on things that she can and cannot do because you make more money than her like well have boundaries and standards okay that's that's one thing but as far as like you can't go do this you can't do that she can do whatever she wants yeah but she ain't gonna have a boyfriend if she does certain things that's fine application okay so you just have standards yeah yeah of course like here's the here's the thing i look at it like Women want a man that's successful, makes money and shape, etc. That takes discipline, correct? Correct. Okay. So I want a girl to exercise discipline, not being a hoe. Okay. Same shit. Because no, of course that's fair. at the end of the day, I know my name carries some weight. So if she goes out and acts a fool, they're not going to say fucking, you know, she's acting crazy by her first name. They're going to say, yo, that's Myron's girl acting crazy. Right. So that makes me look bad as well as her. Okay. So I got to protect me and my name and I can't have her acting crazy. So if she, and that's what comes with it. So if you want to be with me, that's what comes, you know, you got to listen to, you got to adhere to my rules. You know what I'm saying? You want to be elevated to vice president. You got to do vice president shit and you have more responsibilities um, to protect the the brand, the the company, which is my company. Women only operate correctly when they're in a subordinate position, not the other way around. Men men have to lead and the woman's got to follow. Okay. But you got to you got to be worth something worth following. And you, that happens by you having boundaries and standards so that she respects where she's at. But if you let a girl walk all over you and do all this bullshit that we let girls get away with girls trips out, you know, going out, talking to multiple guys and doing all this other fuck shit, it puts you in a bad predicament as a man. 
I uh I I Go agree ahead. with you a little bit on that, bro. But like, I'm kind of different. So like, I'm the type of nigga. I'll send my girl on a on a trip with like her girls, and they all have fun. Like. I've done that before. I done spent ten, twenty thousand dollars, so y'all go have fun. Oh, but I know, but I know the type of girl I'm dealing with because I can go on her phone anytime I want. Like I don't care about that type of shit. Like I, if the only time niggas be like that is when they think that girl might be easy. You know what I'm saying? And if and I don't, bro, I don't have. If she want to fuck up this situation, that's on her. You dealing with a million dollar nigga and who who down to earth got a good personality, all that. If you want to fuck that up. By all means, the, the shit gonna come to light one day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, to me, so, I look at so, it like so, I mitigate risk, bro. So, so, like so I'm man, not even gonna. So man, you're telling me so you... you would send your girl on a girls trip, yeah. 10k spend. Why she goes to like Cancun, meet some dude that like got money as well. Send says, it to Bahamas. Well, that you, too. You gotta be. You, I think I, I really think any nigga bitch can get hit at the end of the day. That's, that's so what I'm you saying. gotta understand if that's your girl, y'all need you need to have an understanding. You you just like you just don't you think that there's a good chance that she might do some other shit. I don't. I could sleep good, and I think knowing my girl ain't on no bullshit. And if she is, it's gonna eventually come to light. I'm not finna lose no sleep behind that. But mm. why? Why enable that? Like put her in. You don't enable it, nigga. You don't it's enable life, it. It's life, though. That's, that's, that's not fair. Right? If, that's you not fair. There, if you sitting there worried about every fucking move she make, you're not gonna be a. Uh, you're not gonna be stable within yourself. Why be in a relationship? But that's like, that's the, that's the key, man. Yes. Is that you shouldn't have to. That's the thing. Like she should never even put you in a position where you exactly. could even think about it. But she that's, don't, she's that's not what I'm saying. About that. She's gonna have a good time. Like nah. she really going you to say, have a good time. We gonna disagree on that shit. Yeah, I, I'm, to, I'm not funding on. Right here, though, I'm not funding my girl to go out and do dumb shit that could potentially put their relationship in a predicament. That's like me putting my uh, Lamborghini in the hood, paying for it to be there in the hood, knowing that it's in a situation where it can easily get broken into. Despite the fact that the locks and the mechanisms could be top tier security, I don't trust the people around the car. That's because you not you don't really mm -mm. understand you don't really understand like who you dealing with as that person. Yeah. My girl, my girl done had every nigga from so and so to so and so on her DMs. She not even on that type of time, nor does she give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I've seen it. I, I she don't have a, the password to my phone, but I got the password to her phone. She don't she give me her phone all the damn time carelessly. Like I don't like I'm not on that type of time, and she give me the right energy to know to I could be secure with all my shit. And if she want to be a sleaze ball, then that's going to come to light eventually, bro. But being scary as hell and being like, oh, I don't want my bitch to do this, dead and the third, you're going to push her to do some shit. you literally going to do oh, that. Oh, no, bro. no, no. Like, you ain't, you ain't, here's the thing. That's why, I'm, that's why I'm saying do it anyway. it's, it's very simple. Thing, bro. Right? It's very simple. Like, if if she could do whatever she wants, yeah. but if a girl truly likes and respects you, she's going to have the fear in God to not fuck up. Exactly. And that's what I always say. She can't exactly. be, but, but she can't be comfortable shit. to the point where she wants to go on a girls trip that you already lost. She that even, if she, wait, Listen, even if she goes on a girls trip, it's not necessarily meaning they're gonna go get drunk and they're gonna go get drinks. They could, they have, there's other events to do in no. places. Hold on, this time, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Every nigga in here need to stop the cap because all y'all niggas have been on vacation and everything and try to get with a bitch and she ain't give you no ass. I don't give a fuck how drunk the bitch is. No, I'm not. I'm going like don't act like you just gonna fuck the bitch because Listen. you on a fucking vacation. She was on a girl. Fresh, I know damn well a lot of bitches don't like black ass niggas. You black as hell. <laughs> you not just gonna go for that, so, bro. I'm so, telling you. So I'll say this. For all the times she curved niggas, I'm telling you, bro. I'm on his side. It takes just one time where she's lit. She's in the mood. Her friends are gone. Yo, girl. Things happen. Yo, but girl. But that's what I don't know. Because if that's really your then. bitch, she, won't, she will be on point. Bro, Even exactly. if she gets bro. a little lit, she will be on bro. point. If that's truly your bitch. Do you bitch. know how many niggas girls we be oh, fucking? Bro. Nighttime, bro. That's yeah. your oh, I'm going to go. Bro, I've been no. up here 12 years, bro. I done seen everything, bro. You should know how girls move. I do know. Exactly. So this is my girl. So put yourself in that scenario. It's dumb. Myron, no, what's your issue though with the okay. girls' trip? Wait, hold on, hold on. One mic at a time. Go, uh, go, go. What's your issue with the girls' trip? Because she could cheat just she could cheat at home just as much as she could cheat Easily. on a vacation. Mm -hmm. Like she could literally say, "Yo, I'm going over to the fucking grocery store." She could go cheat right then. Why? Exactly. What's we your a... issue with the girls' trip? Because that's just an example. Yeah. Well, what yeah, I'm wait, saying is niggas that niggas go out. Huh. Like, we're not the same. Like, if she's gonna cheat, she's gonna cheat. Yeah. 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 How is it not the same? Yeah. So that, so that, that's a terrible same. argument. Yeah. So, okay, everyone <laughs> is coming here. Number one, so let me address a couple things here. Number one, uh, Ben, that's your opinion, but yeah, that, that is sure. not that is not advice conducive to most guys' success because, exactly. yeah, because yeah, that, that's gonna lead most guys astray. Yeah. The only thing you could trust women to be is be women. And what does that mean? Girls just want to have fun. And that might come at your um, detriment to some degree yeah. where she's out doing a girl's trip, whatever. Funding your girl's trip to put herself in a situation where infidelity is almost 
it, it, uh, you know, a high likelihood. It's just not intelligent and a good re- use of your money. Now, that's my opinion on it. And I would tell most guys that's not a good move for you. If you're Me able too. to do it, fantastic. But let's be honest, most guys aren't able to do it. Exactly. That. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't advise in, a lot of niggas to do it. Yeah. But I, it's certain niggas, bro, I could tell you, like, certain niggas can send their bitch anywhere and it's not going to happen, bro. They're not going to fuck up their situation. It's a possibility, yeah, top, but like, regardless. But to bro, take that risk, top, though? Yeah. Like, why why take the risk? Take the risk, bro. If you're dealing with a bitch who's going to go off, she's going to go off regardless. It yeah, don't matter exactly. what you do, bro. That That's is what true. you don't understand. You keep talking. Like, I'm not trying to get into all that, but you keep acting like, the girl's trip or this or that is going to make her fuck off. She going to fuck off regardless. Exactly. Regardless. Okay. And then when that's you what, but here's the thing. But that's what I'm trying to say on. is yeah. that she's, if she really rocks with you and fucks with you, she's not going to go on the girl's trip. Facts. That's what I'm trying to say. You already lost by her going on the girl's trip. I sent them on the motherfucker. No, man. I, I mean, <laughs> I know what's going on. Like, I, I mean, you can rationalize it how you want, bro. But if she's going on the girl's trip, that's an L in itself. That's an L in itself. When a girl truly loves and admires you and respects you, she, everyone else is invisible to her. She don't give a fuck about no other dudes. She don't want to be out in situations that's going to put her in her bad spot. She's going to do her best, damn near best, to be uh, a wifey. And she's going to audition and try to get the job. And get a part of getting the job is not doing thought activities like going on girls' night strips out. Like, if a girl even proposes that, it's the beginning of the end. And I mean, my thing is, like, we could say, oh, you know, don't be controlling, whatever. I'm just saying I have boundaries and standards. My standards and boundaries might be a little bit higher than other guys, but I hold myself to certain standards. So if you want to take, you want to be my girl with that label, I'm going to hold you to the highest standard. You could do whatever you want, but I'm not going to tolerate you going on girl trips out, putting yourself in certain situations. And I think most guys need to move like that because the thing is this, we can sit here and talk about women that are anomaly and they're not going to look at other guys and all the other shit, (laughs) but why invite potential chaos into your relationship that doesn't need to be in there? I'm all about risk mitigation, not risk enhancement for no reason. That's true. If she gonna fuck, she gonna fuck. But then at that point, you should have already been betting her out. I'm not paying for it. That that one damn near not funding it. That that bitch gonna have to go broke to try to cheat on me. Are we talking about random bitches or are we talking about your girl? Like talking about your girl. girl. So what the fuck are we talking about? Why are you with her if you think she's gonna cheat on you? Exactly. If you're with her, no. As soon as she, that's what I'm saying. If she mentions, oh, girls trip, it's it's a wrap. She didn't mention it. I sit on it because I didn't want to go on the fucking trip. I had other shit going on, so I'm gonna take care of y'all. That's what ball shit. You know what I'm saying? That's ball shit. Bro, I'm not worried about her fucking off with no nothing, nigga, none of that. And if she do, that's gonna it's gonna come to light eventually. And she fucking herself up. So I'm not gonna lose an ounce of sleep or stress or none of that. Worrying about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just me, bro. I wouldn't advise a lot of people to do that. A lot of people can't even send their girls on vacation. First of all, they can't even send themselves on vacation. <laughs> so for me, my girl said she want she she wanted to go to Bahamas for for her uh for her birthday. Bet I'm gonna make sure it happened. I'm gonna take care of everything. I got everything set up. Boom. You ain't gotta worry about that. We got we got people to take care of that. But ben, as far as like me worrying about her going, be, getting drunk and fuck with some nigga, ben, bro, it just is not bro, in the game. You're a better bro. man than me because I can. Yeah, exactly. I'm doing that shit. I don't advise guys, guys, bro. I don't advise guys, guys do that. More, I got way more, bro. I don't been That's I don't been in this confidence. game for twelve years, bro. Like I trust me, I I've been there, done it. Like I understand how people work. I'm a comedian, bro. I be on stage in front of this is different. I be on stage in front of thousands of people, like talking. You have to understand how people mind work, bro. And you'll get that vibe even when you hollering at your girl. You understand what she go for and what she don't go for. I see, I literally been on my girl phone. She don't even go on her DMs. And it be every ball player, athlete, celebrity you could think of. And it just don't matter, bro. You know what I'm saying? It just don't matter. It doesn't come, matter now. I've come to realize <laughs> everyone has a price. It may not be money, but it could be something yeah. that you don't have that they got. And look, I'm not saying every girl. I'm I just saying it. for the most part, Everybody got price. There's been bitches you try to get in, she's not gonna go because she got a nigga and she don't even want to hear that shit. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. 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 It's, it's it's it might not be us, but it'll be somebody else. <laughs> well, if you live like that, then you don't never need to get in a relationship and just be by yourself. You know what I'm saying? I feel that for sure. Yeah, we, like, if you can't trust it. me, why are you with well, me? Well, we're playing the game, but we understand also how women no. operate, and we're not gonna put ourselves. Yo, we, we, here's the thing, bro. We teach guys how to put themselves in a position where girls aren't gonna finesse them, and a lot of the times yeah. you got to be on defense and you got to have boundaries and standards that limit. The thottery, bro, because yeah. we live in a world now where no one tells women no. Like, they, they, oh, I should be able to do whatever I want. I should be able to do a girl's trip. I should be able to have guys on Instagram. I should be able to DM niggas. I should be able to do whatever the fuck I want. You should be insecure and accept it. Fuck no. Nah, we exactly. tell guys, don't accept that shit. I mean, if you want to send your girl on a trip, that's cool. But for 99% of dudes, that is destructive advice. That it is. is not going to self serve. It's no, not going to serve. I just said that. And my girl, you, you got to understand, it's some shit, a lot of shit that's just not happening. You know what I'm saying? And that's understood. All that shit be set and, and cut in stone at the beginning. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sucks. And anything that happens along the way, it get nipped in the bud right there and we don't got to speak on it no more. Because if it happened again, then that's your ass. 
and they understand that, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not finna sit here and lose sleep about what she got going on every single yeah, move. Yeah, but let's say she said, does sign, does sign, bro. You've invested into a relationship. You've de- you're 10K down bro, now. And she we millionaires. We millionaires, bro. Yeah, that's true. I spent 10K on weed and fucking, like, bullshit, bro. Like, who cares? Like, it's 10K. You make sure you took care of your girl. This your girl. I'm not spending this on a random bitch. This yeah, is your but, it's, girl. but it's the principle, man. Like, I, I would have, I, like, me personally, I, I would have a serious point of contention investing 10K into my girl doing some thotty behavior that's going to make me look dumb, look hurt, make her look dumb, and I invested time and money and effort. I could have put that shit in the stock market or crypto. Or you made her super happy and you you took care of everything she, she wanted. For, but she cheated. But that's hypothetical. That's, that's hypothetical not true. That's not real. So, and that's, that's you thinking that the glass That's like me empty. saying, Every like... Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Nah. So my threshold for a woman cheating is less than what normal guys think. If a girl entertains another dude, that's cheating in my in my eyes. And that's how most guys should view it, too, because men and women are not the same. The threshold for sex is, for women is far easier. Therefore. Since the threshold to get sex is easier, the threshold for cheating is also easier. Everything works in tandem together. Okay? Men and women are not the same. There's a reason why women have post 60 pictures of themselves, dress a certain way when they go to clubs, etc. You guys aren't out here approaching niggas. We got to talk to you. So therefore, the rules are not the same between us. Me entertaining a woman and you entertaining a woman are not... Uh, uh, me entertaining a woman and you entertaining a man are completely different. If you put yourself in a position where men are even able to approach you and or... Uh, try to uh, t- be a potential suitor, that is cheating. I don't care what anyone says. Women want a traditional man that's going to sit there and be willing to die and protect them. They need to protect their goddamn integrity and not put themselves in compromising positions to that same security that they're trying to get from that guy. My thing is this. I'm an advocate of guys being masculine, being dominant leaders, etc., but leading by example and having standards and not letting their woman walk all over them. If you want to be single, be single, but you're not going to have me in the background as a placeholder Watching your fucking dog looking like a dummy while you're going out to v- vacation destinations, <laughs> fucking other guys and or potentially uh, uh, getting other suitors. It's ridiculous that we allow this shit to fly in the Western world and we wonder why relationships are in the tank, uh, in the fucking dump. We wonder why the nuclear family is gone. We wonder why the divorce rates are high. We wonder why the marriage rates are low. We wonder why the birth rates are low. This is all because of feminism and allowing women to be liberated. Yes, they're liberated, but they're liberated from family and being good women that are traditional. And here's the thing. I'm not sitting here saying I'm a saint, I'm a perfect guy, whatever. I've had a, sex with a bunch of chicks. I get it. But here's the thing. We teach guys how to adapt to the new sexual marketplace. Women have changed. Men have to change with it. I'm not playing by the old set of rules. I'm not being a traditional nice guy, gentlemen, because women are no longer traditional. Girls nowadays run around, nigga, what you going to do for me? Oh, cool. You want to play by this new set of rules, 2022? I'll play 2022 rules, too. I'm not going to put myself in a position where I can allow you to finesse me and or... uh have other guys and entertain other men that's going to make me look stupid because I put some value in my name. I'm not going to allow that shit. If you want to be a single girl, fantastic. You're going to be single, but I'll be damn fucking, I'll be dead before I allow a woman to fucking embarrass me in public because I know my name has some merit to it. And when they go and make fun of her dancing, twerking on a nigga, looking like an idiot, blah, blah, blah. They're not going to refer to her by her name. They're going to say that's Myron Gaines girl. No, I'm not allowing it. And I want every single guy to have that same goddamn respect for themselves. I'm not allowing a chick to act like she's single when she has my name attached to her. Fuck out of here. That's I right. want everyone to stand on their fucking ten toes down and tell these bitches, you will not do that if you're with me. If you want to do that, cool. But I have some goddamn pride. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to let girls have their cake and eat it too when they want to be with me. That's why I take my commitment extremely seriously. I'm not funding no goddamn trips. I'm not going to put you in a precarious <laughs> situation that's going to fuck up the trip, uh, fuck up the relationship. And no, it's just not happening. Now, Ben, I get it. That's your take on it, yeah, but I think it worked for me. So, that's extremely you know, destructive I mean, advice for most men that can't do it. Exactly. So, would you go and, on guys' and, trips? And, and most yes, men and women are not the same. Not the same. So, if you I go, go on a guy trip, trip guy to go on a ladies, on a guy listen, trip. men and women are the same. We're not the same. We don't even need to like get stop that. phrasing that way. And we're not the same. Here's the thing: I can be in a relationship with a girl, love that girl, go fuck another bitch, and come back to my wife like nothing happened. Men and women love differently, and we view sex differently too. So that makes it okay. Absolutely. That makes it okay for you to yes. go cheat on me. Yes. Fuck no. You know, it's That's okay for you. Uh, here's up. the thing. That's well, here's, here's the thing. Up. It's not cheating if I tell you up front. I'm not going to be monogamous to you. That's a different story. That's a different relationship. You can't say that. That's a different relationship. That's not a me and you relationship. That's a me, you, and then you can go fuck whoever. That's for me. Like for all of that, we could just be fuck buddies. Like cool. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. I'm talking. But my question to you was about like couples, like a relation, like a person you would want to share your life with. Like you don't try. You don't let her go. You don't let her go out on no trips because you don't trust her. She could do what she wants. She's not gonna be. She can change. She come back though. I trust. Here's the thing. I trust women to be women. 
but that's not fair to, to be so generic like that. You Life can't be like fair. you can't be like every bitch is a cheater. But then I when, said that. But then no, that then. you basically did though. Like no, 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 I, no. With, I said I could trust women to be women. And what are women? Women are creatures that don't have the same emotions day to day. Your emotions change and fluctuate at different times. They're emotionally driven. And guess what's the problem with emotions? They're erratic and not and uh not normalized. So you could feel a certain way on a certain day. Go off of your emotions, make a terrible mistake, come back and say, oh, my God, I just made me feel a certain way. And now who's got to deal with the bullshit? I do. And my thing is this. I understand women go with the wind. They're followers and they're not leaders. And they're going to go off of what their girls do, which is why I also tell guys, if your girl hangs out with hoes, that's a problem. Because women are followers, hive minded creatures. So if you hang out with a bunch of thotties, four thotties, you're going to be the fifth. Even if you're with a guy and you're Thanks. married, because they're going to influence you to do fuck shit. Single women keep single women uh, single perpetually. Now, you might not like that's what nice. I'm telling you. But this is the truth. I just personally feel like you paint women almost like like we're bimbos, like we're stupid, like it's just a sex object sort of deal. Like there are intelligent women out there. There are women who are going to take an account. Oh, like you don't like we were talking about the six figures thing, the money thing. Yeah. Like there are women who are going to go out and go out and have a good time with their friends. Like it's my birthday. I just turned 21. I want to go out. I want to go out, have a good time, whatever. But I'm not going out to go fuck nobody. I'm not going out to go entertain no nobody. Like that's not the point. The point is I'm young. I want to go see the world. I want to travel. I want to do things. I want to live my life. My life don't stop because of this relationship, period. I'm going to go live my life. I'm going to go have experiences. All of that. Nobody said you can't do it. Yeah, but you're saying you can't have both. You're saying you can't have a relationship and also... Have, have a life basically See, well here's the thing yeah if we have kids fuck your life because if I we have kids hold on let kids. me finish okay. if we have kids fuck your life fuck your personal experiences because it's about sacrifice this is the problem we live in a world now where it prioritizes female hedonism over family and duty happiness if you want to get into a relationship guess what happens you're now auditioning to be a fucking wife and the whole purpose of being a wife is having children the children come first not you and your personal pleasures traveling the world being a thotty going to the club living life etc this is what we poison young women with nowadays and tell them your happiness comes first and this is why we have high divorce rates this is why we have marriage rates that are in the plummet etc women are liberated all right and that's fine but who suffers the most from it actually women because y'all go ahead want to be thotties in your 20s give away your best years whatever it may be and then you want to travel the world, do all this extra shit, come in at 30, think there's going to be a, a knight shining army waiting there to save you. No. That guy that you've been wanting all your life, he's going to go with the younger, hotter, tighter girl. And that's the way it is because it's biology. So my thing is this. You have a choice to make. You can go ahead and travel the world, have your fun, etc. Go get your education. That's fantastic. Go ahead. But I will be lying to you if I told you you're going to have that lifestyle and then still have a guy at the end of the tunnel waiting for you to take you serious to marry you and have a family with you because men don't like depreciating assets and we don't want to pay full price for a car that's used. I don't make the rules. I just report them. Men have a big stake in a woman's past. That's just how it is. Just like you have a big stake in a man's earning potential, his height, his ability to provide uh, security. A man has a big stake in you being able to provide security that the kids are his in the future, which is contingent upon your past. And a lot of modern day women don't like to hear this. It's the truth. You want a man with a future? I want a woman that doesn't have a past. And this is how 99% of women, men feel. Lil Dirk went on a million dollars a game yesterday and said he wiped up Asia. Why? Because she doesn't have a high body count. Women all over the place. That's fucked up. That's ridiculous. So wait, Sorry. hold on. Let's get this straight. This man busts his ass, living in Chicago, almost getting killed several times, mm -hmm. gang war, etc. Becomes a multimillionaire, is a rapper, went through and dealt with a bunch of adversity. And he simply requires his girl don't have a high body count, which, by the way, is in her control. Yeah. And the whole world, oh, you toxic asshole. How Why is you? it that male preferences are demonized, but women preferences are always put to the front? They're always. hedonism. I want to live my life, blah, blah, blah. You can live your <laughs> life, but you might miss the opportunity to live your life with a husband and kids. And that's all I want women to, to know is that you cannot have your cake and eat it too 99% of the time. Now, can it be done? Yeah, it can be, but not all the time. Go ahead. I was going to say, when I say live my life, Obviously, like I was talking about, live my life as far as like, you know, just experience different things as far as like, I don't know, like fucking eating a new, eating something I never ate before. That's what I mean. I'm not talking about fucking this person, fucking that person, talking to this person, talking to that person. That's not what I mean. But what I'm asking from you, since you just said that and you just spoke your, your truth. Like, so you're I spoke saying the truth. there is no your truth. No, your truth, because I believe it's a gen. It, I believe that that's your opinion and that's OK. And I feel like I have. What my did opinion. I say that was not true? That is opinionated. I told you how men generally think. You said about how women basically. 
I'm sorry. I'm blacking a little bit. Yeah, gotcha. But... You yeah. stupid. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> sh- shot in there with India. Too. I mean, yeah, here, here, like I said, you could do what you want. That's what I'm saying. You said women but can do what they want, can, but they, they can do what they want. They but can't have every, respect the husband. For every action, there's a reaction. Right. So what you're so let me let me just twist it a bit so you understand. Can I go ahead and smoke pot, live with my mom, not really have ambition, not make money, etc., not go to the gym, etc., and they go ahead and say I want a bad bitch? The answer is nope. And actually, you would laugh at me if I said that, correct? I think your extremities, your extremities of what you just said are different. Like I'm talking but about hold on. Just it makes, living but life. But this is the like, thing: men and women are different. I'm trying to explain to you. You would look at me like I was delusional if I told you I'm going to sit with my mom, smoke pot be a loser, and I want a bad bitch. Would you consider okay, that yeah, delusional? Of okay, so why do we have women to run around having sex in their youth, doing all this fuck shit, and thinking that there's going to be a good man waiting Nobody for them at the Nobody said anything about having sex, though. I said living life. I said trying different things. Nobody said anything about yeah, sex. Yeah, but most as women want to live life said. just find food, though. Like, living life meaning Something. go around, girls strip, Look, sucking and dick. And that's cool, but that's not everybody's prerogative. That's what I'm. That's the, the point that I'm trying to make. See, but see, you can't thing, say right? that's every girl's M- thing. Most men yes. don't look to see what's really happening. They just assume, you know what? She's doing these things. All right, in my head, this is what's happening. And yeah. as a result, they react to it. And you know what? I'm just going to fuck her, treat her a little bit good, and then dick when I'm ready. I'm and sorry. You never, I'm, you, you, of you, course, you, people will I'm do that. Miami. You, I already you, know. would never, you would never even know. Because once again, the actions that you, that you uh, show him may not even be that bad, but he's going to perceive it as, you know what? Damn. I thought she was a good girl. She's going out, getting lit. And like, I don't know, I don't know what's happening. So to protect myself, I'm just going to Play, play my part and then just bit. It's the same exact example. A bunch of guys asked earlier, I'm a blue collar worker. Do you think I could still get a woman if I make, uh, you know, uh, if I'm just a blue collar worker, but I make 100 grand a year? Some girls aren't even going to bother. Wait, you're a police officer? Oh, wait, you're a firefighter? Uh, nah, I'm good, bro. Exactly. Even though that guy makes quarter million a year, they don't know yeah. it. What did they do? They judge the book by its cover. Yep. Guess what? Men do the same shit. Hey, you live the city girl lifestyle. You did all this shit. Hell, you could be on OnlyFans. Didn't fuck nobody. But what's he going to assume? You're a hoe anyway, and I'm not taking you serious. Right. So, would image you is prefer... very important. So, would you per- like for you personally? Would you want your girl to just stay home and do nothing then? Like, what would you? What would be for yeah, you? Because yeah. you're thing. confusing I, me. Like, I, don't I, live I, life. I can speak don't for go myself. Out. Remember, going back to the cheating thing. Like I told you, me personally, I tell girls all the time, I'm not gonna be monogamous to you. However, most guys are not gonna afford you that transparency. They're gonna tell you you're the only one. But guess what? Facts. If he's tall and he's good looking and he has money, he's fucking other bitches, and that's an uncomfortable reality a lot of women can't accept. Men are only as faithful as their options. I say bad things about men. And women. Give a dude a blue check, $2 million in a Lamborghini, he's fucking some girls, regardless of how much he loves you. Fresh. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Men and women love differently. <laughs> men are okay with having, with, they can love their wife the same and go fuck a girl. However, it doesn't work the other way around. If a woman loves her man, she ain't fucking nobody else. Everyone else is virtually invisible to her. And if a woman fucks another guy and she's in a relationship with you, it's a wrap. She's been checked out. That's what I'm trying to say. We don't play by the same set of rules because you guys don't have sex the same way we do. You guys have sex for emotion. We just have sex for physicality. So therefore, we don't we, we cannot use the same types of parameters to define what cheating is, what a relationship is, blah, 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 because we live different sexual realities. Women love uh, live a sexual reality of abundance, regardless of how they look, they behave or anything. Men have to earn that sexual abundance from their success and, you know, uh, aptitude in life. Men must create their value. Women must preserve theirs. So why do I have to bust my ass and become a self-made millionaire? Right. And then use the rules of a trust fund, baby. And that's what women want. Well, I'm a, 